Join in the fun with Milky Bar, sponsors of Titch. Kitch, here you are at Grandpa's. You like visiting Grandpa, don't you, Kitch? And Tailcat likes visiting Grandpa, too. And so do Peter and Mary. They like to go exploring in the fields. And you'd like to go exploring in the fields, too, wouldn't you, Titch? Yes, Peter and Mary, Titch is sure. He would really like to go exploring the fields, too. Kitch won't get lost, Mary, and he will keep up with you and Peter. He's very good at keeping up with you. Grandpa says you can go with Peter and Mary, but you must stay with them, and you're not to get lost. But he wants you to keep warm. He's going to get you a scarf. Stop being impatient, Peter and Mary. Kitch won't be long. Goodness me, you certainly won't get lost wearing that scarf. I thought so. Great Aunt Edna knitted it for Grandpa. Off you go. And remember, don't get lost and be back by tea time. That's Peter and Mary. They're always in such a hurry. You're going as fast as you can. Mm, that's a very high style, Titch. A very high style. In fact, it's a very, very high style. And look! Look at those lovely ripe blackberries. You'd like some of those, wouldn't you, Titch? If you could get at them. Good thinking, Titch. If you can't get over it, get under it. You'd better hurry up, Titch, if you want any blackberries. That's it. Run! Whoops, a daisy. Well, just look at that. They've eaten all the ripe blackberries. They haven't left any for you. And no, Peter and Mary, Titch won't get lost. Now, where have that Peter and Mary got to? There they are at the top of the tree. Yes, Peter and Mary, we know you're good at climbing. You'd like to climb the tree too, wouldn't you, Titch? But don't you think it's a bit high? Oh, I see. You're going to have a go anyway. I still think it's a bit high for you, Titch. Hmm, I thought it was. Now where have that Peter and Mary disappeared to? 
Ah, they're by the pond. And Tidge isn't lost, Peter and Mary. Here he is. And yes, Peter and Mary, we know you're good at skimming pebbles, too. You don't have to keep telling us. That's right, Titch, you have a go. Skim that pebble across the water. Well, they've had more years to practice. <laughs> Titch can hear you, Peter and Mary. I keep telling you he isn't lost. But wait a minute. Peter and Mary are lost. They don't know the way back to Grandpa's cottage. Well, they keep telling you not to get lost, Titch, and look at them. They don't know which way to turn. Mary thinks it's one way and Peter thinks it's another. What's that, Titch? Your scarf seems to have got shorter. Ah, it's been unraveling. Mary, Peter. Titch knows the way back to Grandpa's cottage. Come along, follow Titch. And don't get lost. See, there's the pond. And look, there's the tree. Listen to Titch and hurry up. He said he doesn't want you to get lost. That's it, Titch. Follow the trail of wool. And it's nice of you to wait for Peter and Mary. Come along, Peter and Mary. Keep close to Titch. See, there's Grandpa's cottage. Titch is leading you there. And there's the style. See, Titch, it's a good job you went under the fence or you'd all be lost. Grandpa is very pleased that you didn't get lost and that you're back in time for tea. But he wants to know why the scarf has shrunk, Titch. Well, Titch, Grandpa is very, very pleased that the scarf brought you home safely. He never thought the colours really suited him. And he's sure Great Aunt Edna will knit him another one, and another, and another, and another, and another, and another. And another. <laughs> Titch, he's so cute. I need to get some red boots just like him and he'll be back at the same time tomorrow. Now look at this picture. It's of Dog and Duck and it's been drawn by Gary and Elliot who are four and six and they live in